Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review slash tutorial. I am using the new Anastasia Prism eyeshadow palette and also the Huda Beauty primer and foundation. I do a foundation wear test with this foundation, obviously. And yeah, this is the look I came up with using these products. Before jumping into the review, I just want to quickly tell you guys my skin type. I am dry to normal. I have oil in my T-zone, but everywhere else I am pretty dry and dehydrated. I also have a big problem with redness and blackheads. That's all I have to tell you about my skin. So if you guys want to see what I think of these products right here, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I've primed and set my eyes and put on a little bit of tape. Today we're going to be working off the new Anastasia Prism palette. I'm just going to do a really, really easy, simple look because I want most of the video to be on the foundation and um, check-ins throughout the day. So this is what it looks like inside. As you can see, I have gone in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take a crease brush and I'm going to go into um, Eden, which is this really pretty peachy pink color. I'm going to put Eden right in the crease. So starting from where the tape is and just in circular motions and then inwards. I'm using very, very light pressure. These are very highly pigmented, so I don't want to press too much because then it'll deposit too much product in one certain area. Next I'm going to go in with a slightly more tapered brush and we're going to go into Saturn. This is a really pretty orangey color and I'm going to use that and go right underneath that first color. So we're going right into the crease and the outer edge right here. This tapered brush is nice because it really gets right into there. Okay, so with the same brush now, I'm going to go into Parallel, which is a beautiful chocolatey brown. And just really lightly, I'm putting that even more into the crease. But literally, I'm barely touching my brush onto my skin. You can see I'm facing my brush downwards so that I ensure I get that dark color right into the crease and not too much higher. Okay, now I'm going to take this flat brush here and I'm going to go into the color Sphinx. Sphinx, is that how you say it? Really, really loading that up. I'm also going to spray that with some Fix Plus and I'm going to tap that color right on to the lid. So I'm just taking that big brush that we used in the beginning and grabbing some more of Eden which was that pinky shade we used first. And I'm just going to use that to blend over all the edges. Okay so now I'm going to take an angled brush and we're going to go into obsidian which is like a, just a black and I'm going to take that along the lash line. No wing or anything, just a, this is just to uh, darken up the look a little bit more. Okay, so today we're reviewing the Huda Beauty new foundation and primer. So here is the primer right here. It is called the Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. And it comes in a pump, which I really appreciate. I hate it when things like this don't have pumps. But yeah, this is the primer. You could see it's pretty thick. It looks more like a moisturizer than it does like a silicone primer. And this primer, they say, is um, you could use it with or without makeup. It's supposed to be really, really moisturizing. It's supposed to perfect your makeup throughout the day. It's supposed to help with um, fine lines, pores. 
and it's supposed to be really nourishing because it has rosehip oil in it and it's supposed to be very soothing and moisturizing because of the dimethicone. Now, my first impression of this off the bat is it has a very strong scent. So if you do not like scent in your makeup products, I don't see how you would like this because the smell is pretty strong. I looked on the ingredient list and fragrance is about midway through. So that's pretty high up there, but um, the foundation actually has more fragrance in it than the primer does. Also, another thing, it feels extremely thick and extremely, extremely moisturizing. As I'm rubbing it in, my skin is getting more tacky, but it's not really sinking into the skin. It's sitting more on top of it. Just feels really heavy and thick. It feels really nice on the skin for me because I do have dry skin. So it feels just really moisturizing and nourishing, which I really like. Okay, so next up we have the Faux Filter Foundation. Now this does come in a plastic acrylic bottle, which kind of sucks for the price because it is extremely expensive. They say that they kind of cheaped out on the packaging because the ingredients in here are supposed to be so good for you. And on Sephora's website, they say that any type of skin could use this. So combo, oily, dry, sensitive, it's for everyone. It's for all of us. Um, I have the color Amoretti. Um, just for reference, I'm shade 290 in the Fenty Foundation and I'm about an NC30 in MAC and in Too Faced Born This Way, I think I am natural beige or sand. So I was between the shade Amoretti and Tress Leches. That's actually the one I wanted. That's one darker than this. But that was sold out, so I went with this one. You can see, um, I think it would be a good color, but do you see it? It's really thick. It's more of a cream foundation. It doesn't, you don't see it running down my hand at all. It's just, it's very, very thick. And it's supposed to give you like a matte, but still radiant finish, which I'm curious to see how that works. So I'm just going to dot it. Yeah, it's like, it's very, very thick. They say on um, Sephora or on the Huda Beauty website that with one pump, you can do your whole face. I used about half a pump and I'm just going to do this side first. So yeah, the foundation has the same scent as the primer. So again, if you're not a fan of scent you're not gonna like this okay so first impression so far um i definitely feel like i have something on my skin like my skin is starting to feel a little bit tight it feels really heavy it's a little bit tacky still and the color looks like it is oxidizing a little bit i feel feel like I look like an Oompa Loompa. I don't think this is my color. So looking at it, it look it's definitely, definitely full coverage. Like, that is full coverage. Everything, all my redness, everything is covered. It definitely feels full coverage as well. I definitely, why do I keep saying definitely? I feel that there's something on my skin. Okay, so looking at it closely, so far it looks okay. It is um, separating between my eyebrows just because I'm really, really dry there and I have hair growth right there, which will always make a foundation look a little bit flaky. So what I'll do is do a close-up now. I'll go and finish off my face and then I'll do another close-up. Something, something along those lines. So let me just go uh, give you guys a close-up and then finish my makeup and then I'll come back.
Okay, so the rest of the makeup applied pretty nicely on top of the foundation. I used Tarte Shape Tape and um, I'll list everything else down below. I used all pro powder products on top and everything looks really nice. It doesn't look patchy at all. And I did not set my face with powder. Um, it's still a little bit tacky which is weird, but all the products still went on really nicely and really smooth. From a distance, it definitely looks really good. It literally looks like I have some type of filter on my skin right now. My skin looks flawless from a distance. When you get up close, I have my freaking crazy ass magnifying mirror right here. Then you start to see the things that don't look as nice. What I mean about this, while I'm talking, I'll put in a close-up. I hope you guys can see it with this lighting. I don't know. This is my first foundation, first impression, so I'm still trying to learn about the lighting. But up close, you could see that it's already starting to separate above my lips. This is where I get the most dryness. I get a lot of rashes up there but it's also sinking into my fine lines around my mouth. I think that's simply because I'm dry and this foundation is very thick, so it seems to be sinking into all the lines. It's definitely accentuating all the dryness and bumps that I have on my nose and under my eyes, and between my eyebrows, it's just completely caked up. That's how it looks up close right now. I will keep checking in after every couple of hours of show, every couple of hours or so to show you guys what it's looking like. But right now, I kind of like it. I, I like it from a distance. I don't like it from up close, but I'll watch it throughout the day and let you guys know what's going on. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, you guys, so it's been a couple of hours since I applied the foundation. I've done no touch-ups or anything like that. And I've got to say, it's actually holding up really, really nicely. Um, it hasn't separated anywhere. Like, I'm used to putting my hand like this. And it still looks pretty damn good. All the products on top. Nothing faded, nothing got blotchy. You are starting to see a little bit of my dehydration come through, especially in this area. So between the eyebrows, under the eyes, just all this. My whole damn face, no, I'm just joking. But yeah, just all the center of my face is starting to show a little bit of the dehydration but the perimeters actually look really, really nice. Again, from a distance, the foundation looks beautiful. It looks literally like I have a filter on my skin. I'm gonna do a close-up right now so you guys could see what I'm talking about when it comes to the dryness. Okay guys, so I dimmed the lights down a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about when I mean the separation and the dryness just right here around my nose area, just because my oils are starting to come through. But again, I said I'm dehydrated, so even when oil comes through, I still get dry flakes. And so the foundation is separating a little bit right there on my nose area, and it's just looking really dry between my eyebrows and on my under eye area. But I've got to say, the rest of it looks pretty damn good. Okay you guys, so I've been wearing the foundation now for about six hours and it is breaking up a little bit around this area just because my oils are starting to come out and that's disturbing the foundation a tad bit. But I've got to say everywhere else it actually looks really, really good. Nothing has faded. It is still a little bit tacky, which is weird, and it's not completely transfer proof. It does come off if you touch or lean or anything, but overall, it's kept me looking pretty matte, and I don't know, it just looks good. 
Okay, you guys, so it is the end of the day. I am in my pajamas, ready to wash off my makeup. But before I go, I just want to give you my last thoughts. Um, the palette, I think, is very, very nice. Its blendability and the way it works reminds me a lot of the Modern Renaissance palette, which I'm so happy about. And also, the colors are really different in here. They really make you kind of think out of the box. I think it's a very different array of, you know, colors. Like, look at this one. It's just, you know, they're cool. They're cool colors. So I really like this palette. Um, the primer was, I liked it because I'm dry, but if you're combo to oily, I, I don't know if this is for you because you saw it's very, very thick, almost like a thick night cream. It was almost too moisturizing for me and I'm very dry as I keep saying. So while I like it, I don't think that this is for everyone. The foundation has actually really surprised me. When it comes to really thick, full coverage foundations, I shy away just because they look so bad on my face. Like you could see the makeup, it just like flakes up and it just looks cakey. But this actually looks pretty freaking good. I've been wearing it for about six hours and nothing crazy has happened. It hasn't faded in a, like a bad way or anything like that. It is showing a little bit of the dry patches now and it's sinking into the lines right here, but nothing crazy, nothing where I would look at my face and be like, ah. <laughs> like what happened? Um, yeah, it's pretty good. So I actually really, really like this foundation. And that is the video, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe so that I could see all of you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.